So the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that no children under 16 uh, actually drive an ATV. Um, but uh, if parents decide to make that choice to allow a, a, a child to be on, on an ATV, um, it's really important for them to enforce the basic safety rules of children riding an ATV. So um, they should be on a youth size ATV, not an adult size ATV. They should be wearing a helmet. They should have no passengers on the ATV. Um, they should not drive on the road. And so those are all really uh, critical elements um, to helping to try to keep your child a little safer on an ATV. Um, also quite important is to get them educated. Uh, so only taking a riding class that has um, on-vehicle instruction you know, so they're actually hands-on uh, using the vehicles is really an important aspect. Uh, I think they're really getting well trained, um, but certainly there's even online courses to help them kind of learn some of the important safety issues of riding ATVs. That, in addition, uh, it's really important to do supervision. Uh, when we've asked FFA members um, in the state of Iowa about um, supervision, uh, about half of them said the first time they rode uh, the first year that they rode ATVs was also the first year they rode unsupervised. Um, and we know that uh, they said that the first time they were in a crash or it, it, uh, became injured was after they ran, 90% um, of them said that after they started driving unsupervised. So I've done a lot of research related to ATVs and other off-road vehicles. and. Uh, a big reason this has been an interest of mine is I grew up on a dairy farm and I've uh, saw a, a lot of different injuries related to being on a farm, uh, but particularly related to ATVs. And um, one of my first cousins, uh, Kenny, uh, was on an ATV with a na another neighborhood boy. They were both 13 years of age at the time. And they drove out of one of our neighbor's uh, driveways from the farmhouse and uh, went onto the road and they were struck uh, by a pickup truck. They both died at the scene. I was 19 years of age at the time and I remember it quite vividly uh, how that, you know, how that had such a tremendous effect on my uncle and aunt's family and the community and what a waste it was because it didn't have to happen. 